In today's video, I'm going to be playing some BFB Coliseum Boost only this time. Uh, normally, I actually have been doing a lot of free power-ups lately, but today I feel like going in, try-harding, just getting some sweaty opponents, we'll see what happens. So do me a quick favor, guys, if you enjoy my content and you enjoy these videos, which actually is the same now that I think about it, um, go down and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, and it would help my channel out a bunch, and while you're down there, of course, like that smash button as well. But with that being said, let's just get into our first game. So for our first game, we're playing on Yellow Brick Road against YT King BTD. And we are going Mortar Cobra Bomb. So yeah, this is going to be the plan for this one. I am... Oh, I shouldn't have upgraded the Cobra first. He's starting out with a Ninja, dude. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I still think Cobra is definitely viable, especially with the whole um, Bomb buff. Uh, I, d I definitely think the strategy is going to be a bit more fun now. So, um, we'll see if it's better, mostly because this will actually give me better surviving opportunities when it comes to late game. So, I'm definitely happy about that. Wow, okay, so he goes Ninja Ace. Interesting. Wow, okay, did not expect that. But I'll send it to, like, 270 here. Wait till 48 seconds. There we go. And then go for this. So, opponent here is e coin Unfortunately, we could have gotten, like, a Ninja NG farm and we probably would have been better off but eh whatever i am gonna go for a rapid reload though go for this go for it over here up here try and save a couple lives if possible there we go and looking good all right just gonna keep it up here for now i think that should probably be fine Ninja Ace, this is good. This is like an interesting eco strategy. Don't think I've, um, don't think I've seen this one being used, but I do want to go for increased accuracy though. And at the same time, I kind of also, I should probably go for some more Copras as well. But I kind of also want to go for Bernie stuff whenever, just uh, so that I'm, I know we'll be fine. He's still just ecoing as much as he can, you know. F fair on you, bro. Fair on you. Can't really blame him. He's doing his best. Round 5, though, I gotta be careful for round 6. I'm probably just gonna send a couple of greens here, followed by some black balloons. There we go, and I definitely... I don't know if he's gonna send... No, he's gonna send me greens as well, okay. That's good, like, I'm fine against greens. I just need Bernie stuff, and I'm okay. Here we go. I'm gonna keep this here just to help save a couple of these leaks. There we go, and now we appear to be fine, I think. Yeah, we should be good to this, and of course I can always just upgrade to a 2-2 mortar, and we'll have more, uh, or like, bi bigger bombs or whatever it's called. This thing. Which, what is the name for this? Bigger Blast, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's continue to max Eco here, and now he's finally gonna start sending some stuff. I think I'll go for one more Cobra here. Our Eco's looking pretty good. Probably gonna be going a little bit heavy Eco, honestly. Just because he's Ecoing as well, so I don't really have to be too worried. Um... About him being like uber aggressive or anything like that. I can just kind of do my own thing. And yeah, let's go for bigger blast as well. Just so we're fine. I want to go for like 650 eco, I think. Also kind of want to place this up at the beginning. There we go. Alright, nice. I'm just going to continue. Actually, I'm just going to stop at 600 because it's already round 9. And at this point, I'm starting to anti-stall a little bit. Which is probably not the best thing. But Mr. King BTD here is looking like he's struggling a bit or is he let's have this all the way up at the beginning and then go for a bunch more cobras just as many as we can get really here we go and i do want to get up a bomb eventually just gonna have it here i could have also placed it like up here but i like this spot down here it gives a little bit more uh more, more, more time to uh, time to react, basically, and time to think. Alright, so now he goes for that, and he does have camo let detection, actually. His strategy is an interesting one, now that I think of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not gonna die to that. That is an oops moment right there. Choking to eco, that is sad. Anyway, I actually don't really know, because if he has camo detection and he has ace, he might actually just be fine to this. That is crazy. Village or a chipper is now insanely broken. I should probably be using the chipper, honestly, uh, in some video. I'll I'll test out the chipper at some point. Honestly, I kind of like his strategy. Like it seems it seems kind of fun. 
but right now I'm just gonna go for as many Cobras as possible. I don't really know what my plan here is. Honestly, I might go ahead and just send him like a BFB on round 17 if I can, or something like that. Like, I, I don't know. Or round 18, I could I could all out him on round 18. I think that's probably like, we're, we're going try hard sweaty stuff right now, so I actually think around 18 all out might actually be viable. So I'm gonna get ready for that. Do you want to hide this down in the corner here? Go for an offensive push. And he's not ecoing right now, which I'm not really, uh, really liking. He's just saving up. Yeah, we can't really do this. We gotta just, yeah, we gotta adjust him. He's saving up his money. He's not ecoing. He's not doing anything. Kind of just gotta rush him and hope for the best. Let's see. Let's go for this and. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this one. This this might have been a lost one, unless I can get in some s something lucky, basically. But, give me a bit more money, please. He might even send me a BFB, and if he does, then I'm kind of screwed to that. Because a BFB is not going to be fun. Is he good to that? There's actually a lot going past. He might not be 100% okay. Eh, oh, that was a waste. I'm just boosting to so much stupid stuff right now. It's honestly so dumb. Oh, he's down to 35 lives. Okay, I'm gonna send him a BFB now. We'll see. He could also just stall out me if he wanted to. Don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and boost this. And we'll see. I'm gonna also send him a bunch of just regular lets. Alright, come on. Leaking a little too much here. It's not fun. I think he might be be dead to this. We'll see. Maybe maybe he'll be fine as well. We don't know. I want to send him another BFB. I kind of just got to go for the all out here, really. It, it's like my only hope at this point. Please, let me boost. No, okay. Great. I didn't want to boost either. Yep. I think I'll keep this one down here. I don't know if he's good to that. He might need to GC this. I'm gonna just say well done. I think that's a GG. I don't think he's uh, he's popping that. Nope. Alright, we do take the win. This strategy could have been interesting though, if it was in like free power-ups. But anyway, GG to Mr. King BTD. Let's move on. So we got the same opponent right now, King BTD, and we're playing on Concrete Alley for this one. So I do think I will go ahead and spike the beginning here, just so we can anti-stall. Because we are going to be going eco, even though it's boost only. This eco strategy here is still pretty fun to pull off. He might actually be going the like the same strat that he did last time. I don't know about that, but we'll see. It's funny how like none of us are really going farms. Um, anyway, of course, we do want to eco here. I can eco to like 260. He's actually going the same strategy again, okay. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll see how it goes, honestly. Uh, on this map, like you never know. Right, I'm going to wait 42 seconds, then I can upgrade this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Beautiful. And I am going to leak a couple lives here, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much. If this was free power-ups, it of course would have been better, because we would have had way more money and better powers. Like, we could have had better boosts. But, you know, that's not the case. So we're going to have to uh, have to see if we can win this regardless in boost only with just going eco. Although mostly in boost only, you actually want to go farm strategies, but this one is not one of them. Uh, of course, I could have gone, like, tech with farm here. And then just anti-stall completely, and then just send BFBs and CMGs, and he would have been completely, uh, he would have been completely screwed to them. Like he, he wouldn't have been able to defend any of that. So that that's also an option, like something you can do. But I don't know. I didn't, I didn't feel like, uh, like doing that. I kind of felt like going an eco strat here, also because the sub is so OP. Like legit, one one, <laughs> one ability takes out one CMG. Like it's so broken. And even more than a CMG, sometimes it takes out too. Although I don't really like the fact that we're, that we're chasing to blue balloons right now. Not really looking that good. Okay, he stopped ecoing. That's really good for me. Because I was about to either greed and lose a bunch of lives. Or have to um, like have to get on more defense and then I'd lose out on a ton of eco. It's like, what do you prioritize more? Eco or lives? In my case, probably eco. Because I don't mind leaking down to low lives. As long, as long as I can, like, defend later on, I'll be okay. Right now, we're both just, uh, 
trying to get as much eco out of this as possible. Although he's the one leaking, I'm actually doing completely fine on my own right now with my 02 sub. I'm completely chilling. Now he's sending some space blacks. I'm probably gonna leak some lives to uh, to these. It, it wouldn't surprise me, but oh, am I? Yeah, I am, definitely. That uh, can I go ahead and spike here? Is that is that dumb? Is that a little too greedy? Maybe. Let's go for 620. Let's wait. Go for this thing. Might need to boost here. Yep. Let's go for this. Here we go. Ooh, these reds right here should actually help out with uh, saving me a couple lives. Now Bloom Boost again. I'm going to go for the Air Burst Dart. I don't really think that Bloom Boost uh, is going to do much. But I do want to go for this right here. I kind of want to Bloom Boost back at him, to be honest. We might actually be able to force a boost here. If, uh, if we're lucky... Let's go. I do want to sell these and then go for this thing. I can get this up in a couple seconds. Should be fine. As long as I don't leak too many lives. Eh, gotta leak a bit there, but it doesn't matter. Do you think I can go for this now? I, I think this right here is a good spot. So I'm gonna keep this on strong and just get this up. We have 700 eco, which is pretty decent. So honestly, I'm gonna just accept that. And then we just want to eco to max right now. We don't need to worry until round 18, really. If he rushes us, we boost. Like, at least if you bloom boost, uh, rush at us, we're going to boost it. Um, but otherwise, we'll be fine. And there's, of course, nothing we can send him. Because he's going to be he's gonna be fine against anything, really. So, yeah, let's see. We have 820 eco right now. I mean, we're definitely easily going to be able to get 1.1k uh, before round 18, which is, in boost only, is kind of like what you want. Like, that that's the goal. If you can get 1.1k eco before round 18, then you're doing fine. Like, you'll, you'll be okay. That's kind of like the number you want to try and achieve, if possible. And, yeah, it's looking good, dude. This is uh, also what's known as uh, compound interest. For those of you who are interested in investing, look at this. We have a thousand eco right now. And we keep reinvesting everything into more eco. Not a lot of adults, especially in America and other places, don't really know that concept. It's kind of crazy. But, yeah. Some real talk right here. Okay, let's see. 1.12k right now. Cool. We can probably get like 1.3k. Wouldn't put it past me. But we'll definitely need to be able to defend... Round 18 somehow, because a MOA followed by a bunch of ceramics is going to be a little bit troublesome to uh, to try and defend. Although we could probably try and all out him with the same rush. Like, it, it is, like, pretty annoying when you die to it, but it's it's been it's been tried out before. I don't know. Honestly, no. Nah, we probably shouldn't do that. That would be uh, a little not fun for anyone, really. Alright, let's go for this, this... And honestly, at this point, I think I can continue to eco for a little bit. Like, I think I can, like, slowly continue just with this. Because I think this, with a boost, should defend a Moab. In case he sends one. But it doesn't look like it. Like, he's just ecoing right now. Which is fine. We have 1,430 eco. If we can get, like, 1,600, maybe 1,700 before round 18. Or before round 20, I mean. That's gonna be great, dude. Like, that would would, would, would actually be great. I don't know, I'm kind of considering, because I'm like scared, we're both max decoying right now. I could probably rush him and try and punish him, but the th thing is, he could probably do the same to me, so I don't really want to, you know, have anyone, or allow any one of us to do that. I'm thinking that I'm going to put this up here, maybe. Get some glue splatter going. All that fun stuff, plume dissolver, there we go. Just get some slowdown, basically, in case he tries to rush me on round 20. And I have a pretty good eco. I want to go for, like, 2,000 eco and then go for a bit of defense. Unless he, of course, rushes me, then I'm not. Then I'm just going to go for defense right away. But he stops ecoing, so I'm probably going to stop for a little bit. Send, send some spaced, maybe. Kind of want to go for a ninja right here. Just a balloon jitsu, just a regular one. Let's see if we can push the 2k eco. I think if we go late, I think I should win, just because I have slowdowns, he doesn't. 
If I get a good amount of eco, I can defend late. He can't. Like, he can defend probably to, like, maybe around 35 past. But past around 35, the ace isn't really that good anymore. Unless you have insane micro and infinite money. Which, insane micro, I don't know. But infinite money, definitely not. When you're going eco with ace, your ground zeros are really, really costly. When you have farms, it doesn't matter. Because you basically have so much money anyway. Like, round 35, like, map filled with factories, you know? Ring a bell. Offside, anyone? Or Dread Bloom for that case? Or for that matter? So, yeah, but when it's Eco, you know, he's not gonna have money for that. So, I think we can probably take this late and just try and win the game like that. Do still want to be a little bit careful here, because he does have enough for a ground zero. Um, so, of course, we can't rush him with anything right now, because he can legit just stall it. Like, Moabs aren't gonna do anything. BFBs, he's just gonna save up and ground zero them. Maybe he'll even stall the BFBs if he wants to, I don't even know. But we're actually at a point right now where it looks like we can infinitely eco, which is pretty cool. And I do want to get down one more of these. Just because these are actually doing a good amount of damage as well. So um, let's, uh, let's just have them. And let's see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm kind of happy, like, I'm, I, well, I, he's kind of anti-stalling, but I'm not. But it's not like it's being fully anti-stalled, like, up at the beginning um, from either of our sides. So, that's okay. But right now, we're both at a point where we can, like, infinitely eco. I think he probably has, maybe has a little less eco than me, but I think we're probably pretty close uh, to the same amount. I think, it, like, his defense is definitely a bit more expensive than mine, but... Overall, it's a, it's a pretty even game, honestly. So, like, even if I have a small eco lead, or even if he did, it wouldn't really make a big difference at this point. Like, we're gonna take it late anyway, and whatever happens, happens. Let's go for Bloom Liquid Fire here. Also, let's go for this thing, just to uh, detect the camo a bit faster. Alright, I wanna go for Bloom Jitsu now. And right next to it, like right here, I'll go for a Flash Bomb. So let's do that, and I of course do want the slowdown. Can't get that yet. Right now we just need to eco, try and get as much as possible. If this was free power-ups, we'd probably easily have like 5k plus eco right now. But it's not free power-ups, so sad. Anyway, round 25, easy. The ceramics aren't even getting far because the glue is too broken. Like, glue is honestly so OP these days, it's crazy. Anyway, let's see, what is our boy King BTD here gonna do? What is your plan, my guy? Is he just gonna try and take this? He might, I don't know. Because the thing is, eco versus eco, you can't really rush each other. Because if you rush, you have no money left. So all you can really do is just get up a bunch of defense. That's why eco games are so fun. Because the other side can't really rush you until way, way late. But we're probably both gonna try and like fill the map with stuff. Um, mostly ninjas. I, I mean, the only thing I kind of find a bit useless is probably his chippers. But then again, he still has the chipper abilities. But it's going to be hard for him to micro chipper abilities plus ace micro. Or maybe he's just saving the chipper for late, late game. Which I could also imagine. But like he would still need to take care of all of the CMGs, which will be a bit tricky however the chippers are so easy to micro honestly all you need two chippers and you can like infinitely stall any bfbs and moabs anything like that like you can infinitely stall it as long as you have money and eco coming in so yeah i can't really say too much and now we have more than enough money as well uh in, in case we actually need to um in case we need to like start getting up first strikes i do kind of want to go for the two three subs right here there we go only reason i want them is simply just because of uh like all the extra mob damage plus i'm eventually gonna get them up to first strike so yeah that's good but you can see like all these uh things are actually doing a good amount of mob damage right now so that's definitely a good thing 6.5k can we can probably go for maybe 8k i'd say because i don't th i don't think he's gonna rush me around 32 i don't really think he has money to send like a substantial enough rush to actually do damage and if he does then i'll just react promptly but he doesn't need to stop equine either because he knows i'm not gonna rush him either because i'm not gonna rush him past round or like before round 35 because he can just ground zero it and slow it down like it'll be so easy for him to defend 
But yeah, guess we'll see whose late game strategy is better. This uh, this is actually gonna be um, gonna be an interesting one. Try hard late game versus try hard late game doesn't really happen that often anymore. Sad to say. Let's get this up. And let's get this down. Here we go. I think this should probably be okay. We'll see. As long as we have a couple glues pretty much everywhere. Like, I'd say three glues for a map is, like, more than enough. But let's get a couple of these right here up. Alright, let's get that up. As long as we have, like, five sapos, I want to say, then we'll be good. Like, you only need four, technically, because there's, like, a minute cooldown and they're 15 seconds each. But timing four is a bit difficult, especially if you're in a press situation. So having five is just a little bit, you know, nicer. Although if you're like an ultra pro who's an ultra sweat, who will count every second and just keep track of all the seconds while you're also building defense, rushing and defending at the same time, then go for it, you know? But I am not doing that. No way. I'm not that sweaty. All right, I think... Let's see... Bam, 8,000. Alright, I'm gonna stop at 8k eco, and then I'll go for a bunch of defense. I think that is probably the best choice. Maybe I could go for a bit more, I don't know. But whenever he rushes me, I'm gonna rush him back. The only good thing, though, I have double stalls, dude. I, I don't even need to defend. I just need to, like, kill him earlier. I could probably go for a bit of spaced uh, eco with whites right now. Maybe we can push to 9k. Honestly, I might just do that, but I think I'll push with pinks then. I kind of want to push it to 9k, maybe 10k, because I don't think he's going to rush me yet. He might rush me around 35, but I, again, if he rushes me, I'm just going to counter, so. Plus, it's not really like I'm losing a lot of money from ecoing. Like, of course, I'm losing some money, but I'm not losing a lot. And as long as, I think this is probably going to go around 40 plus, most likely. So I definitely think it's it's worth it to continue to eco. But we'll see. If he starts rushing me, I'll probably just laugh at him. So that is one of the most useless things you could probably do right now. I think, yeah, he's also just going for a bunch of extra defense. Kind of as expected, honestly. I wouldn't really expect anything else. I might even push this to 10k eco. We're at 9k now. He's still ecoing himself. Great. But I think I'll push this to 10k. I should have kept on ecoing, though. But then again, I still want a little bit of defense like I have now in case he starts rushing me just because like that way I, I'm, I'm gonna be fine you know hopefully but we'll see let's see three 9.4k right now looking nice and we have over 100k cash which means we could send 10 cmgs if we wanted to but i still want to go for more defense and just get ready for everything i think that's probably gonna be what we're gonna have to do but I do want to push to that 10k eco mark if we can. Although it's a little bit difficult. It'll take time, of course. But we're almost there. Here we go. Now I can just eco with, uh, with white to hit the goal. And we gotta send like two more. Bam. Alright, now we can go for a bunch of defense. Lucky for me, I'm fast. So... If I can just place these right, then it shouldn't take me too many rounds to fill up the map. That's the only problem, like, I'm fast, but when it comes to placing these down, like, I don't always have, like, 100% precision. Because you gotta, you gotta be very, very accurate when, uh, when placing all these down. And of course I want them all down here, where all the CMGs are actually gonna be. He's still ecoing at this point. The thing is, now he's up against two stalls. And even though, like, his ace at this point is useless. His chipper is pretty good. I gotta give him that. But, well, his ace is not useless, but, like, all his ninjas are gonna be worth more than ground zeros, you know? His chippers are good, however, so if he can manage to pop the CMG layers, then he'll be good. Because he can infinitely stall BFBs. But I don't think that, like, if I overwhelm him... I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be able to pop them. All right, let's see. I'm really liking my eco right now. I don't have a lot of money, but you know, I would have had even less if uh, if my eco was lower. So 
We're getting a good amount of income right here, and I almost filled up the map as well. So it looks like I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty okay here. I think we can fit like six ninjas in here. Maybe more. He's already run zeroing right now, which is like, he's losing money from that. Maybe we could have fit seven had I fit them a little more uh, precisely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could have fit a few more if we just like did everything a bit better, but whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. We get 10k eco and we have 40k cash right now. So at this point, I'm just going to save up and we'll see. We'll, we will see what happens. This is definitely going to be an interesting match though. Mr. King BTD here, what you gonna do? Of course, I'm probably just gonna get up first strike uh, capabilities here. I'm gonna get the first strikes up like one by one um, whenever I need them, because I could spend 80k on getting up four right now. That's not uh, not really worth it, but I think I'll wait until around, like the more we wait, the better for me. So I'm gonna wait till around 43, and then we will rush. By then we can probably send like 20 CMGs. So that'll be good. Plus, I don't really need to uh, need to worry because I can always sell more ninjas. I can always sell a bit of defense if I need to. Honestly, probably gonna sell this thing. Go for another one of these. Here we go. Uh, let's see, 139k. Looking good. Round 42. I'm just gonna wait for this round to be over and then I'm gonna start rushing. Unless if I see him rushing, like I'm ready to click as well. So, like, as soon as he rushes, I'm gonna rush as well. But we'll see. He's getting up the chippers. Okay. He's getting up a lot of defense right now. I don't know if all those ninjas are gonna be enough, though. I really doubt it. I really don't think they are. Especially on round 43, dude. The CMGs are just gonna be too strong. It's not, it's not gonna happen, buddy. We'll see, though. Round 43. Oh, I was right. Look at that. We are gonna be able to send 20 CMGs. Plus, at least. All right, here we go. Uh, he waited till round 43 as well. This is the good thing, though. Even though he slows it down, mine are slower. Let's boost it at him. And actually, I want to sell this glue right here. And I want to go for the glue strikers. Because I don't think we're going to defend this. Come on, give me the, this thing. There we go. And let's keep on sending stuff. Let's go for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can we actually pop these? Oh, we can. Damn. That is too OP. Uh, uh, let's slow everything down again. Bam. I'm not going to send him anymore. Like, none of us are defending this. There's no point in infinitely rushing. Because then we don't have any money to defend with. Yeah. As long as all this glue is like, you know... Doing, doing some work would be good. I might want to actually go for one more glue over here. Slow everything down again. Dude, holy shit. These first strikes are doing damage, dude. Jesus. I need to sell some of these. Problem right now is I can't see my first strike. I'm going to wait until these unfree. Yeah, everything's getting too far on his screen. Come on, come on, come on. I can't see the water, dude. This is so bad. Let's go ahead and boost for the last time. He's not popping all those. I don't care. No way. No freaking way, buddy. Am I good here? Can I slow down again? I can. I don't have another boost. Sadly. I'm also losing a decent amount of money every time. Hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see. It's getting so close right here. It's crazy. Slow down again. Keep on first striking. I wish I had a boost right here. I really, really, really wish I had a boost. Okay, I gotta get ready to just slow down. Whenever I see these speeding up again. This is so close. Are they not slowed? Please. Jesus Christ, that was so close. <laughs> oh, but we do end up taking the win. GG, man. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.